Hi everybody, well it's that time of the day again and that time of the week where Eddie Howe speaks to the media ahead of tomorrow night's big clash with Wolves at St James's Park. So let's have a look what the gaffer had to say this time around. Hi everybody, I'm Paul, back again, and as I said in the intro there, it is uh, press conference reaction. Uh, Eddie Howe has spoken to the media this morning ahead of the big game tomorrow night, which of course is at St James's Park in the Premier League against Wolves. Uh, Wolves, we know, have a bit of a depleted squad going into tomorrow, um, missing Jimenez through uh, suspension, and of course, Ruben Neves has also been ruled out of the game, which is a, a big plus point for Newcastle United. So, Eddie Howe, uh, first of all, what he had to say was uh, on the injury front, uh, Joe Willock has had a slight knee problem for a couple of weeks. Uh, he's become a bit more aware of it in training, so it's something we need to stay on top of. We'll make a late call on him. Uh, we don't think it's anything serious. Now, he doesn't think it's anything serious, but at the same time, uh, knee injuries can't be taken for granted. Uh, and we know that Newcastle United over the years have had injury problems where they've put players in, uh, made late calls on them, and they've made the injury even worse. We can't afford to do that with Joe Willock, especially we have... Uh, you know, Bruno just waiting to come in. There's no need to risk Joe Willock tomorrow. There's absolutely no need to risk him. What's the point of risking Joe Willock tomorrow? There isn't any. You know, don't do it. You know, just just let him heal. Um, you know, Bruno can come in and do a fantastic job, uh, probably even better than Joe Willock. You know, in, in all honesty, he's a better football player. But there's no need to risk Joe Willock tomorrow. I don't see the point of making a late call on him. Um, it's a strange one for me that because if he if he is even feeling it slightly, don't put him in. There's no point. Uh, it, it just especially when he's had it going on for weeks. Let him just try and recuperate and get a bit better. Um, now on players missing through illness, he says there's been a bit of an illness in the camp, probably for three or four weeks. And when these things go through the squad, you've always uh, picking up the effects of it. Uh, we still have had some illnesses in the squad this week, so he's not saying who, um, and rightly so because we know what Eddie Howe's like in press conferences. He doesn't give anything away at all. Um, he will not give the opposition manager a sniff of anything about who might be missing and who's not, and who might be playing, but. For us supporters, it is a waiting game again uh, to see what happens tomorrow night when the uh, team sheet is announced. Uh, th that's something we look forward to, I guess, now, isn't it? Because we don't know what 11 Eddie Howe's going to pick. Uh, he's very, very coy in his um, uh, press conferences and doesn't give that information away. So it's always it always turns to the last minute till the, till the teams are announced that we actually as fans find out what's going on. So uh, he's a very hard man to read, a very good poker player. Um you know, he's, he's got that face where you just can't tell whether he's, uh, you know, got major problems or he hasn't. So we don't know. Um, now, on St. James's Park and the return of, obviously, uh, the fans and coming back home because we know we've had four away games, very difficult away games. It's been a bit of a rough trek for us. Um but on returning to St. James, he says it's a, it's massive for us to be back at home. Uh, it does feel like a long time. Uh, we've had an intense period of away games uh, and we've been away from home too long. Uh, it'll be great to get back and play in front of our crowd. Uh, so again, um, you know, what, what Eddie's basically saying there is that uh, he wants the crowd to be as they were last home game. You know, it must be great for those players to come out before a match and see all those flags and feel the atmosphere of the ground. Um, what I have noticed, certainly since the takeover, is the the build-up to these games now. The, the actual build-up to the match, you know, when the players go off after the warm-up and then the music starts and... You know the build-up is there now. There's there's an there's an electricity in St James's Park, and the players must feel that when they come out. Um, so hopefully we'll see that again tomorrow night, and I'm I'm pretty sure that's what Eddie Howe means as well. That he wants that atmosphere generated again. Uh, get us off this little blip. Get some more points on the board uh, to literally guarantee us uh, safety. 
Uh, now, uh, on Spurs, uh, he said there should be criticism for our second half performance. I was very critical of it and the players were disappointed. Uh, I do feel we've made great strides in recent months, but you're always accountable to your recent performances. So we have to respond now. Um, very good point there from Eddie Howe. And I, I remember basically, um, you know, when he took over and I spoke to a Bournemouth fan and uh, he said that, you know, you won't see Eddie Howe losing the plot in front of the cameras. You won't see him hammering his players in front of the cameras. You'll say he's disappointed with the performance or whatever needed doing, but he won't come out and hammer his players. That's what he does behind the scenes. Um, and clearly there will have been words said after that second half performance because it was nothing short of shambolic uh, from a lot of players. Uh, they didn't turn up for that second half. Uh, you know, I went in, you know, Half time came along during my commentary, and I thought, wow, you know, yeah, we're 1 1, we're in the game. A little disappointed that we conceded because what I did say is when we went ahead, just hang on, concentrate for the five, six minutes uh, before half time, going 1 0 up. It's a different game. But for some reason, they came out and completely lost their heads in the second half. I didn't quite understand why, but it did. Um, it, it's water under the bridge now. That game has gone. But it's good to hear Eddie coming out and saying that, um, you know, they're accountable for it, but they've got to respond. And tomorrow night is a perfect opportunity for the team to respond to that dreadful display. Um, now, on Wolves, uh, he said it's a big challenge. Uh, their record away from home has been very good all season. Uh, they're tight at the back and they've got the players that can hurt you with the ball. Uh, we believe we can beat anybody when we bring our A game, so we need to do that. Um, very important that Newcastle do bring their A game because Wolves, although I've said that those two players are missing, Jimenez and Neves, they've still got some very, very good players. You know, they've got um, Pedro Neto, who has got himself fit again. They've got Matinho. Um, a lot of talent uh, in that team. There's a couple of others um, that will cause us problems. So we have to be on our game. And, and Wolves won't be coming here just to get a point. They're pushing for a European place. So they want to continue their intensity to try and get up the ta far up the table and as many points on the board as they can. Uh, they've been on a very, very good run. Um, and what I think with Wolves this season is they've done it sort of quietly. Um Nobody spoke about them much. They've just gone on with the job um, and have moved up the table really, really well. Uh, so behind the scenes, everything's going well for Wolves. And, and, and certainly, I think the lack of media attention on them has probably done them uh, the power of good this season. So it will be a, a very, very important game for us. Uh, now on Bruno, uh, this is probably what everybody wants to, to hear Eddie comment on. He said, he's someone I've really enjoyed working with. He's very much a winner uh, and has a great attitude to his training. With his flamboyance and technique comes a steeliness, which is hugely important in his position. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Now that gives me the um, impression that he's starting. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens tomorrow, uh, taking his uh, steeliness and his flamboyance. So I think Bruno is going to start tomorrow. I cannot imagine him not, even if Joe Willock was fit, I still can't imagine him not playing Bruno. I think he was only on the bench because of being away with Brazil. Um, and I think he's got to start tomorrow because we need the best players in the team. And he is without a doubt one of our best players. Um, and he can bring that, Eddie's just said, it, the steeliness and the flamboyance. Um, some of his passing is incredible. And just, we want that to continue tomorrow. Uh, and we want to see that. I'd love to see him score on his home, you know, get his home, first home goal tomorrow, because that will be, that will lift the stadium roof off uh, if Bruno scores. So uh, hopefully he's in the mood tomorrow and uh, we get to see the very, very best of him. Um, now, or finally on St. Maximan. Uh, I've got a great relationship with Maxi. Uh, I've really enjoyed working with him and we need him at his very best levels. He could potentially be the difference. He's an incredible talent and of course he has a long-term future at the club. Now, for Maxi, that'll be great to hear because Maxi, for me, is one of these players that needs an arm round him rather than a kick up the arse. He needs an arm round him, tell him how good he is, get his confidence right up and let's see him at his very best. Now, I've been very critical of Maxi on this channel. Everybody knows I have. There's been a lot of criticism come his way. And I believe rightly so because he hasn't pulled his weight. You know, we know what Maxi can do. We know he's capable of doing great things with the football. So let's see it tomorrow night, like we did in the Everton home game. Let's see him really go at these Wolves defenders and give them nightmares. Put great crosses in. Take some players on. Get some shots in. Be the Maxi that we know we can, that he can be. That's what I want to see. And if he plays like that, I will praise him to the hilt. 
I'm not going to sit here and bullcrap anybody when a player isn't playing very well and say, oh, well, you know, he might get better, he might get better. The whole point of me doing this is to say, if you haven't played very well, I'll say you haven't played very well. However, everybody knows that if they play well and they put the effort in, I'll praise them to the hilt, which I want to do with Maxi because he's just frustrating me this season a lot. Um, but I want to end that frustration. I want to see the positives from Maxi. And I think, you know, Eddie's obviously talking there. Maxi would have heard that, you know, no doubt about it. But we don't know what goes on behind the scenes, do we? I mean, Eddie will probably know that Maxi's one of those flair players that needs an arm around him. Uh, the question is, and the question that has been asked many, many times is, is he an Eddie Howe player? But the way Eddie's talking there, of course he's got a long-term future at the club. You know, we he's very flamboyant, but we want to see him, as Eddie says there, at his very, very best levels. So that's what Eddie Howe had to say in the press conference today. Um, now, you know, make of it what you will. He's still not given very much away, and he never, ever does in press conferences. Uh, I'm very excited to see what the team lineup is going to be tomorrow night. Uh, I'm sure Bruno will start. I'm sure Maxi will start. And I'm sure that they'll come out all guns blazing to put things right from last week. Um, you know, end this little bit of a blip of form and really, really concentrate on getting the three points, uh, which for me, if we get three points tomorrow night, I think we're nigh on safe. Uh, I know Burnley beat Everton last night, but listen, you know, they've got a lot of work to do, the teams down there, to catch Newcastle. I can't see that happening. Uh, so it's very, very important we win this game, uh, move on to the next one, and then keep building. Uh, but three points tomorrow would be fantastic and certainly give us a, a, a you know a good weekend to look forward to. Um, so let me know what you think. Uh, does Bruno start? You know, does Maxi start? What do you think about the comments that Eddie's made throughout the press conference? Let me know in the comments below. As usual, if you have enjoyed the video, guys, please do stick a thumbs up on it. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please do consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you know when we're going to upload videos uh, or we go live. Um, and you can become a member of the Toon Review as well if you hit that join button just underneath this video or the link for that is also in the description below. Um, Thank you to everybody who's subscribed recently. I'll get my words out properly in a minute. Uh, and uh, thank you to Geordie Riffs for their continued support of the channel. Premium guitar services based here in the northeast of England. Go and check them out at geordieriffs.co.uk. Geordie Riffs on Instagram and Geordie Riffs official on Facebook. Um, but that's it for the press conference reaction. If you're watching this on Thursday, don't forget 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, will be the match preview with me, Danielle and Alex. Looking forward to that one. Uh, and, of course, the match tomorrow. And then we'll do the uh, review. It's probably going to be around lunchtime on Saturday. So keep your eye open for that one as well. Uh, but let's just get excited about this game. Back at home. How are the lads? Uh, be kind. Keep smiling. Take care, guys. Ah!